We've been on a Christmas breaking bread night out. We, we did. <laughs> breaking beard night out, sorry. Breaking beard night out. Yes. How, How did, did that go? How many pictures do you think I had to take that evening? At least 50. It was like 50, right? And yeah. it's never normally like that. It's like, normally if I go out and leave, it's like maybe 10 people. When everyone's like, <laughs> everyone goes, Are you, is it beard meat food? I'm like, nah, rate my takeaway. Get it right, come on. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Yeah, of course you can. Thank you very much for watching. He said, oh, it's it's quite exciting. This is like meeting Harry Styles. <laughs> it's just, she said it. And I thought she said Adam Sandler. That's how I went, Adam Sandler? How the fuck is it like meeting Adam Sandler? This is the week where Josh eats the surf Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay Cause Josh and I are here and things are going to get quite gay <laughs> By which I mean happy, uh, cause it's Christmas time <laughs> That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I rehearsed that and everything, and it was actually, was that in tune, George? As yeah, a musician? that was pretty It wasn't tuned. bad, that was that right in my range, that kind of crooning range where you don't have to really be that good at singing <laughs> How are you feeling, mate? Are you as exhausted as me? Absolutely Are we can, the cat's out the bag, right? Cat's out of the Wait, bag. when's this going up? This at like after. after. So the bag is out. The cat is out of the bag. The so, music video is live. So it's going to be what tomorrow night? This no, this out. is going to be like next week. Oh, okay. So there's no podcast this week. Yeah. Yes. There's the behind the scenes of the music video. I can't go before the music video. It's going up when the music video goes up. Also, oh, like Friday night. Yeah, like tomorrow night. Are you broken? Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Um, how are you, mate? Are you good? I'm all right, yeah. Nice little jump of that. What's that say? Yeah, it's Happy a, little. It's a, uh, let me just move my beard out of the way here. It's Bob Ross. You know, I'm a big fan of these painting uh, tree. He's known for painting trees, but on this one, he's painting a Christmas tree. That's a nice jump of that. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, I, uh, I missed, never normally wear blue. I missed the memo on the Christmas jumpers. No, that's, that's, not, that's not true. I said to Adam, can I borrow a Christmas jumper? He said, yeah. And then he turned it without it. So yeah. I've got my little beard. I wonder if I could, we could get like a Christmas tree, Christmas hat sticker. <laughs> Those are smart t-shirts, aren't they? Like collector's items. That's it. Like, w- thanks for everybody that actually did uh, sign up to Patreon. I'm going to send some some of these out probably in the new year because um, I've just run out of... People actually signed up. People did sign up because I think because they wanted this. And then oh. I realised if they all if they all sign up for one month for three quid, it's going to cost us a fortune. <laughs> Just they all just bail out again. <laughs> I'm like, this is a terrible <laughs> business decision again. <laughs> like, We're known for those after the coffee. I mean, you've made some pretty poor ones over the years. <coughs> ah, George, how are you, lad? Yeah, not bad. What have you got planned for us today? This is the Christmas special. He started singing. It's almost that time of year. What This is going out, what, like a couple of days before Christmas? Yeah, so to be honest, this episode is already pretty special, minus the Christmasness. Oh. So there's not really any uh, Christmas-related antics going on, but it should be a good episode. This Adam week, bought us a Christmas coffee. Wasn't your entire spec to make it Christmas-related? Not that I'm questioning your credentials <coughs> as a producer, but I think that was your, yeah, your job. But that took me planning loads of games, and I was too busy editing your video, so yeah, too, too <coughs> here busy, we are. Too busy on Tinder, kid. I know uh, what you're up to. Anyway, uh, so what's what's the first, comments? Comments. Let's do the comments. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so first comment is from Gregor Siwek. Oh, he loves his name. Uh, big old Gregor. He's, him. he's like, he's one of these an OG. Uh, only those three could talk about pubes for ten minutes, and people listen to it. Long live Breaking Beard podcast. Yeah, yeah because change the name, right? So you don't have dyslexia. It's the science thing's <laughs> Breaking Bread, but. Uh, Josh had a rush of blood to the head and decided to change it to Breaking Beard. I think just to articulate the fact that normally by the end of every episode, I am fully broken. <laughs> um, so you just ignore the sign, even though it's, it's they're expensive, so we don't have a new that one That pubes thing did actually chirp up a lot of comments, didn't it? Like, it, it did. <laughs> <laughs> have you got the... You didn't tell people about the email from the escort? I know, is that part, is it on the list? Josh is it's getting, not on the list, but... So I got an email from an escort after Danielle, that. if you if you're listening <laughs> to this, Josh, if you get an email from escorts... Which were dead funny. I should read it. Let me Can play. you show it to your nan as yeah, well? Yeah, so when that, <laughs> when it arrived as I were like out for a career with my nan and I'm like, she's got to read this. <laughs> Let me find it. Did I send it in the chat? Uh, yeah, you might. Have you could have just paraphrased I it. I can't remember what he said. Oh, it's, it basically said, I, I, I am a, a retired escort, worked in the industry for 25 years. That's some dedicated time. And um, I can guarantee you something like the only people that don't shave their nuts are old people and people that have no social skills. So I thought I'm firmly in the second. Well, I could be in both categories, yeah, yeah. I suppose now. But um, I, like, and mine aren't out of control, man. I think mine are all right. They're just, a, they're kind of wispy, but they're not like, I couldn't, I can't imagine having like, really tiny, short, 
Ball I don't think we need to cover the, yeah, we, we need, need to retread yeah. this whole ground. I thought it was just more impressive that that's how eclectic our audience is. Equally, that we've, got, <laughs> we've got a retired escort emailing us. Equal somebody else said that they, they don't shave their balls and it's perfectly normal. Yeah. So I don't know. That was your burner account. <laughs> it wasn't a burner account. <laughs> next right. one. Next comment is from Daily Demented. It's like a question for you, Adam. What if you're allergic to a specific ingredient in a food challenge? If they offer to swap it out, is that acceptable? No. I'm a purist, right? You just dig in, you do what what the the. Uh, I mean, unless you've got a nut allergy, I don't want you to die. <laughs> like, go into like anaphylaxis or something. Are you allergic um, to oil? No, no. Oh, that's okay. I'm allergic to stir strumming. <laughs> yeah, the fuck ah. you I, are. I did like a blood test recently because I wanted to make sure I was safe. And mm. uh, rotten fish, top of the list. Yeah, well, tough shit. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I think. I mean, most, it depends on the restaurant, man. I'm just hardline, man. If they let you swap it out, fine. But I don't really like when restaurants let you swap stuff because it's kind of like. You know, it's cheating, right? You just do what it is. It depends how severely allergic you are. If you're going to risk death, then yeah, okay, swap it out if you want to do something fun. If you just don't like it, like I'm probably slightly allergic to mushrooms because they come out of me whole, right? But I still just <laughs> yeah. eat them. Everything comes out your old, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the sound effect, George? Come on. A bit low, that. You need to bring the levels up. <laughs> there we go. Did you answer that there. question? I want to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the next comment is from Macarbone4. Another awesome podcast. You know what's funny? You mentioned that you should change the name to Breaking Beard instead of Breaking Bread. That's when I realised that this whole time I actually thought the name was Breaking Beard. I was reading it wrong the whole time. <laughs> do you like? Do you just think I was mumbling then when I said Breaking Bread podcast at the ed, at the beginning of every one of the ninety six episodes? <laughs> I mean, we, we can't change the sign unless, uh, like I said, we'll get another sign if we end up in a shoot, another studio, but I'm not changing the sign. <laughs> All right, but it, well, shouldn't you have just waited to change the name till, till we moved to a different place? Then? But when's that going to happen? We've been saying it for know. like two, we've been here I'm two years. I'm not in charge of that, man. I'm just an employee. You <laughs> did have loads of comments saying that the name change does make sense. It does, it make, does sense. make sense. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's just weird that the, we can't take a sign down though because it looks so good. It does look good. And we've got one more comment from Corey Todd. Imagine one of Adam's innocent YouTube viewers decides to listen to the podcast for the first time, only to almost instantly hear him discussing his pubic hair. <laughs> Incredible stuff. <laughs> it's mad to me now that I see so many more people, you know, comment on the videos. Like, oh, I love the podcast. I'm like, you must think I've got bipolar or something. Like, I, I, I'm like two different people. Um, yeah, it would be bad, but it's cool. Not many people come over, mate. It's just the, just the, the, the MVPs that do. Absolutely. Yeah, nice comments there. We've been on a Christmas... Breaking bread night out. Boss. We did. <laughs> Breaking beard night out, sorry. Breaking beard night out. Yes. How, How did, did that go? How sorry, it's quite expensive <laughs> for me. Um, although I suppose it's uh, my You were giving it the old big licks. He was, wasn't it? <laughs> why, why, what was the only reason we got into the Domino uh, bar that you wanted to go to, George? Was it me? Because the bouncer wanted a photo with you. Exactly, yeah. You're you, very welcome. It was relentless that night, wasn't it? Uh, well, like, that, was, it that was the weirdest it's ever... For I've selfies. Never, I'm, 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 how many pictures do you think... I had to take that evening. At least 50. It was like 50, right? And yeah. it's never normally like that. It's like, normally if I go out and leave, it's like maybe 10 people might, in the, over the course of a normal evening, might say, oh, you're right, mate. So I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just the time of year, people are feeling a bit more, I say, like, I, maybe I was I saying that more friendly. You, more you, were in, uh, you were in like full character because you went out backwards cap, you know, jacket. You, you were in like full costume. <laughs> Should have gone incognito. Yeah, if you'd gone top knot or... Well, no, normally I do do that actually, yeah, but um, my hair's just fucked up lately, so... Um, I met a guy in that bar, I forget his name, um, the really bad bar, on, you know where, Could where I wanted to strangle street. that fella. Oh, me and I can't, it's not a bad bar, it's just, I mean, it's an acquired place. Sometimes. But there was, there was one guy in there that was like a diehard podcast fan, so it was cool to speak to him. Yeah. Um, the guy that came over and wanted you, it was the one guy that wanted a picture with you. Yeah, And yeah. like kind of barged me out of the way, I thought that was quite yeah, funny. Like, you I, loved that, didn't I you? I said, wreck him, take the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because most of the night you were like my fluffer, you were, I was just like, Josh, take this picture. <laughs> but yeah, we were boisterous in that bar, wasn't it? In, what were it called? Dead Eyed Cat. cat. Me Eyed Cat, yeah. Mean Josh, uh, the... Some of the other staff members wanted to go there because before nine, he didn't know it was before nine, but you get to roll a dice and then depending on the outcome, you can get like free stuff or like money off your beer yeah. and whatnot. And I think for some reason, that's a gimmick, right? But I think he just really wanted to do that. Uh, but they, by the time I got there, they stopped doing that particular promotion. Um, I always hate the music in there though. The music's always naff. You know what I mean? Like they just, it's like, they've got some weird playlist going on. Did you see the picture that I said in the chat? <laughs> People obviously know when these edits come out. I, I did see the picture you sent in the chat of, of, of Georgie boy over here who's, who's uh, chatting up that fine lady at the bar. It's like that meme 
you know, where he's like, where he's that, where, you know, where he's like he's whispering in that girl's ear. And he's <laughs> like, like McGregor, McGregor's going to win. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look at that going, that's you going. George Breaking Bread a, podcast is the best podcast in Leeds. It's, it's got to be said, George is an absolute gentleman. You see him take, uh, she bought, what she get, like six drinks? And George yeah. very kindly offered to take some of her drinks back to her table. So Shiver is not dead in the Hodgson household, clearly. No. You're a little player, you you're a little dark horse, aren't you? She was talking about you, to be fair, Adam. <laughs> well, uh, some people can't help themselves. <laughs> why, why is, who's What'd she say? Who's that little old <laughs> hobbit that you're with? <laughs> yeah, what'd she say? Like, because well, people were like taking photos of you and like making a fuss of you and stuff. So she was like, <laughs> she, Who is this guy? No, no, she knew who you were, but she was just like, oh, I can't believe everybody's like acting like that and stuff. And I'm like, Well, she seems I was like, like, Do you know who he is? And she's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, does he eat food? <laughs> yeah, it's right, my takeaway. That was my best <laughs> yeah. thing. When everyone's like, <laughs> everyone goes, are you, is it beard meat food? I'm like, nah, rate my takeaway. Get it right, come on. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah, well, she's, that's, she seems rational and judge that she didn't kind of lose head and stuff. It was, I mean, it's always nice that people want to take pictures. Yeah, I, I, do, I always I do wonder why. Her, I said to her, I was like, well, do you want a photo? If you want a photo, I can take <laughs> well, a photo. She's like, no. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> all right, thanks, mate. You're normal then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a good night though. And, um, we went out from five o'clock, me and Adam. So by when midnight rolled round, I, I was fresh. <laughs> you were sourced. That was fine, man. You were like fully, you were gone, man. When you I were... got there and met you, Adam was like, George! <laughs> yeah. You're like, wow, he's way happier like, than George. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know why that was? That was because um, I think by that point, I, we, I, we'd probably been there two hours. So it was just good to see a third person, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 that, oh, and I have to tell you about that. Um, I don't want to kind of... Throw him in the river, but like George is a big Harry Styles fan for what reason? I don't know. <laughs> right? Not big Harry Styles fan. You're a massive Harry Styles like fan. Some of this and stuff. this earlier in the evening, for some reason that the, the one of the do you remember that uh, lady that came up to me? She was like, uh, "Oh, you're all right. I love your videos." I was like, "Oh, thank you very much." She's like, "Oh, you know, it's, it's, she's it's from like, fucking Barnsley, not from London." Was she? Yeah. <laughs> right, I, lo- I love your videos. Uh, <laughs> Can I get pictures? Yeah, of course you can. Thank you very much for watching. He said, oh, it's it's quite exciting. This It's like meeting Harry Styles. <laughs> and then I was like, whoa, steady. But then I thought it'd be quite funny because... Uh, but I missed it. And he's like, Josh, Josh, listen to this. Say it again. <laughs> so she said <laughs> it again. Try and get him to record it. So she said it and I thought she said Adam Sandler. I, said, I went, Adam Sandler? How the fuck is it like meeting Adam Sandler? And she's like, like, no, Harry Styles, you dickhead. I, I think I'm probably on the on the spectrum there. I'm probably closer to Adam Sandler than I'm to Harry Styles, you know, looks wise. But um... well, you're definitely on spectrum, that's for sure. <laughs> and then at the end of the night, we went and got some food. Adam sat there. I'm not eating, lads. I'm not eating. I went, I'm fucking eating, mate. So I ordered myself a nice pizza <laughs> a nice pizza nice chicken pizza <laughs> george having his burger and chips josh having his burger and chips but it came out of the oven nuclear hot so i just thought ah wait i'll probably have it when i get home so i stood there holding my pizza for 10 minutes and then you muttered something to me and i i went said oh i'm not eating it because it's red hot you didn't say that and then, but what that. i think adam heard when he wasn't drunk <laughs> was I'm not eating it because it's shit. So he, yeah, he then I just like manhandled my pizza box open and just beard meets food and half of my pizza. So <laughs> after he'd eaten half, I'm like, I'll share it with you. It's fine. He's like, you don't fucking want it anyway. I went, why the fuck would I pay for it if I didn't want it? And he's like, what do you mean? I went, it was too hot. I was saving it. And then he, he just, this, this like dread came over him and he like, I've never seen you sincerely apologize oh, as much in your life. I felt really, I seen a real rock. Cause I genuinely thought you didn't want it. I thought you were complaining about it. The thing that I learned from that though, is that I might actually get drunk. If I don't have to drive it, I might get drunk before more food challenges. Cause those three slices of pizza, that half pizza lasted about 40 seconds. It just went like pfft, straight down the throat. But uh, yeah, sorry about that, mate. But you know, I'll share with you, mate. It's all good. Save, I left you save, half, so I'll just save the calories, you know? Yeah, yeah. What's on the agenda for today then, Georgie boy? Well, there's just a few, few different talking points and stuff. Oh yeah, like we were saying, like <laughs> no shit. There's, there's no main agenda. All today. right, um, like you were saying earlier, cats out the bag. There's oh yeah, been a Christmas music video this year. Oh yeah, yeah, that was lots of fun. <clears throat> it got there. Yeah. <laughs> do you Come not, on, act. Do you act. not want to talk about it? I can't it, talk about it anymore. <laughs> man. Yeah, we, I, I did a music. I did a music video. Go download it if you. If you want to, it would. I would really appreciate. It probably, it. It, we should probably should have recorded this next week to see if it actually did all right. If it even it comes knows. out, if it's been released. Fuck off, man! <laughs> it was such <laughs> it's worst job of year. <laughs> You're going to same bin as Octagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite the undertaking this year, wasn't it? It just doesn't make sense. It's, it, how many hours do you think went into it? Well, I, I think if you multiplied every single person that was involved, and if you times their hours put into it. 
and you put those all together, I dread to think it'd be like 700 hours or something. Because, yeah. Yeah. and for a three minute video, which will be the least watched video of the last <laughs> year, probably. So I, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is that it cost me loads of fucking money. And I really just hope people like it. I don't really care about like how many people watch it. I just, I, whoever watches it, I just want people to like it because that's the only thing that counts to me now because it's been a ridiculous undertaking. I think objectively people will, I think it's a very good video. Like it's, it, the storyline's solid. There's so much stuff going on constantly. It's better than last year. It's better than you last reckon? year. You reckon? Well, if it's better than last yeah. year, that's a good thing because that was the most watched and streamed one. I don't know if the song's better than last year. I mean, it's more Christmas. Much more work gone into this yeah, one, man. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do it again, and like March rolls around, I'm like, eh, well, maybe. If you do it, I'll be shocked. If you, I don't want to do it again. Well, well, we'll see. <laughs> there, there are parts of it that I really enjoyed. I think it, like it would if people have seen the has the behind the scenes video gone up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've seen that, maybe you get a bit of, more of an idea of like it was like a shoot. It was like like a like a Shane Meadow style kind of guerrilla shoot. You had like twelve people. Go, first going up to Cumbria, yeah, five yeah. days of shooting. There probably should have been six or seven. Yeah. So it's it's kind of hard to articulate just how much work goes into that video, <laughs> which I didn't really, re obviously I didn't realise, but um, it was a massive undertaking. It, it, it took, I'm not I'm not saying I regret it. We're talking about it's like now it's a negative thing. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. glad it's done now, but it, it, it was far, far more work than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I liked, there are parts of it that I look back now and I've started to look back fondly on, you know, because... It was, there was like I think it was there was something nice about going up like that, that especially the first part in Cumbria yeah where we went up to that cabin and it's like just it's like shooting a little film yeah. and I remember like coming away from that thinking I would quite like to make films maybe like in retirement like just you know small independent films because yeah, yeah. there was a lot of that's hard work but it feels quite rewarding yeah um, and uh, but yeah like it, it's mostly the post production I think that was more arduous I don't know yeah I think I, I think it's we needed more days. I think we none of us realized how long it all takes. So we just said, right, it'll take five days. So five days with like a 10 person crew. Do the maths on this people. It's like tens of thousands of pounds and, and zero profit. Don't remind me. And zero profitability for anybody involved. But <laughs> it costs a fucking fortune every day just to man all these people. So we probably should have took more time to do it. But overall, it was a good experience. Apart from the post-production, that was hard. Mm. That was very hard. Because when we recorded the, the what you saw last week, the behind the scenes, we'd not seen the final cut at that point. Then I saw a final cut, changed what I thought was right. And then Adam saw it and changed it again. So this, how, how subjective it is when you watch something like that is mental. And there's so many shots that, yeah. There's so many shots on the cutting room floor as well. Yeah, there were loads of stuff, that, loads of things that we shot that we actually didn't get yeah. in there and some that we squeezed in there. Come on, um, let's look at the, the, the one, the, the money shot for me was the... Uh, the turkey on fire across the oh yeah that that, the choreography like, of that is yeah. fucking class it's and worth the, it for that the whole video was worth it for that shot the v, the vfx and that were really good as well i've seen like worse like I'm, i've admittedly i've seen sharknado 7 but like <laughs> i've seen worse special effects on netflix shows right yeah. so like i think that was that was really good i think i don't know i've just lost that objectivity on it because like when i originally had the idea because i said i wasn't gonna do another one right and then i came with this this idea and i thought if i'm gonna do something again right it needs to be substantially bigger than last year. And that's yeah. when I had the idea of making it, we keep, kept calling it the John Lewis effect, right? Yeah. Like a, making it sad, but happy. And that's when I came with the idea of like, it's starting when I'm an old man and, you know, 40 years from now, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I think that just, that kind of made, I think that makes it worthwhile. I don't think it's gonna make anyone like sad, but like it's, it, it's interesting enough to make people think. And that's what, to me, that's what YouTube's all about. Cause like, if you just keep doing the same shit over and over again, what's <clears> the point really, you know, to me? No, I agree, man. And uh, I think it's going to go down well, but time will tell. <laughs> and, you know, knock on head, six months later, we'll be like, we better go again, aren't we? You know, I think in like a few months, I'll probably be thinking, oh, I would really love to do that thing again where we film something like it's a... But I, I enjoyed the part, weirdly. I enjoyed it when it was... I think I maybe enjoyed it more when it was just me. And not just me, but, you know, like I, it was it was hard to try and act yeah. to like cameras, not no people. But I think it just felt more hectic when we were at the house filming, like the story part of it. Yeah, we noticed that. And I, I'm mean, not not that I did not enjoy that, but I think there was a, it was kind of night. There was some simplicity, I think, in just the, the Cumbria bit. That yeah. was like an adventure to me, driving up there in the middle of the night, <laughs> f 
foggy and then we stay in and all the shit going wrong like people not booking hotel rooms so we thought we were sleeping in my Tesla together yeah. we managed to get another hotel room and then you know the, all that was quite quite fun I think I, we'll see, when March rolls around inside, April we'll here's see. an insider scoop we'll give them this information if you want an idea of how much this costs to rent a, to rent <laughs> locations for five days for filming <laughs> costs two thousand pound a day so before we'd even got a cameraman in place or got some equipment, anything, like you're 10,000 pound into it. So like that, that's how expensive it is. And that was, was the whole cost of the one last year, remember? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just- Everyone was, everyone was working on mates rates. <laughs> and then when Josh said, we need to get catering, I'm like, you can fucking shit kind of catering, mate. We can get wardrobe. I'm like, you can fuck off. <laughs> Everyone's got clothes, right? <laughs> I'm a Yorkshireman. I'm trying to do it on the cheap. But yeah, it was it was expensive. But I think, what's the point, man? Like, you can't take it with you, can you? And it's been the best year, I think, for the channel ever. So, like, I would rather do something meaningful with that than what am I going to do, buy a fucking that lead, Yeah, that, in fact, that leads nice that I put into the chat. Um, you see that Snoop Dogg re uh, released, like, he got a, a, an award from Spotify for a billion streams. And oh, he, yeah. Did you see the video? No. So he, he put a video out and he's like, oh, um, Spotify have sent me this plaque for a billion streams on on uh, Spotify. So he said he messaged his manager and I'm like, so what's the, what's the commercials on that? What's the numbers? And he's like, that shit's like $45,000. <laughs> That's how much you got for a billion fucking listens on Spotify. It's criminal, that isn't it? So today, Adam's going to tell us how much he's made from a billion views on, on YouTube. More than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad to think that he's only been streamed a billion. I would have thought it'd be more. Yeah. Snoop Doggy D. I thought it would be more than that. I know he's been around since the 90s, hasn't he? Why, is it, why did he just shorten it from Snoop Doggy Dog to Snoop Dogg? Just because it sounds daft saying Snoop Doggy. What it used to be called? Did it used to actually be called Snoop Doggy? If Dog? I just made that up, I thought it was just Snoop Dogg. I, I do as well. Come, come on, man. He was he was definitely called Snoop Doggy Dog at one point. I'm pretty sure that was just like a. Nah, I'm pretty sure he's always been called Snoop Dogg. It's not like yeah. Kanye, where he's been called Kanye, Can yeah. Kanye West, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I? Why have I got that from there? I'm pro I thought it was called Snoop Doggy Dog. That's just a lyric in it. Snoop Snoop D O Double G. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, from Snoop. Maybe yeah. <coughs> oh no, wait, it says here. Fucking Wikipedia asking me to donate. No chance, mate. That's been next month. <laughs> but known uh, Calvin Cord Cordoza Broadus Jr., <coughs> known professionally as Snoop Dogg, previously Snoop Doggy Dogg, and briefly Snoop Lion. Oh. Uh, yeah. He killed someone, didn't he? Did he? I think I'm pretty sure he got like. He, he's like. He, Steady. You're going to shake your crown. Allegedly. Now. I think he allegedly killed somebody. Surely not. I was involved in that. Like, a gangster rapper killed somebody. Surely not. Yeah. He seems like a nice guy as well, didn't he? <laughs> well, apparently, nice, he nice smoking guys weed kill as well. people. Yeah? Yeah? No, come on, isn't that what it's known for? I feel like it's like, Apparently. that'd be like me stopping wearing hats or something. Nah, he's, <laughs> he's well anti-drug. You, you <laughs> no, but he has stopped smoking weed. I'm sure I'd like a... Maybe he's, he's probably done quite, he's probably done enough of it over the years, right? Yeah. I bet his actual lungs are green. Probably like just the fucking Grinch's the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> probably just smoked to the point where he's just like, just on a constant high. It's constantly, he's got <laughs> enough like in yeah. his system. Have now. you watched any Christmas films yet? I've, I've, uh, so I've watched the Grinch... Uh, cartoon version of the film you watched uh, at least I think 600 times because that's all the new one found, that's all my little you found a watch. very uh, strange Grinch uh, related gift didn't you oh <laughs> <laughs> put it up on screen Josh. is that real or was it just like a photoshop thing no I think it's real let's have a look did I put it in the chat or in the production did chat we, George did we read a festival once about something that said they had a kink for they were sexually attracted to the Grinch. Yeah. I'm sure we did, right? Well, this goes hand in hand with that. Look at this. The Grussy. It's the Grinch. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's like one of those... It says two sizes too small as well, so it'll be I good feel like that, that hole is like... <laughs> that's too small for me, so that must be small, man. The, the like, Grussy. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that? I mean, don't answer that question. I know what you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> that's bad, that, isn't it? Where that's people... the Grinch that I've been watching as well, the cartoon how do you, you know, How do you propose that to like the... You know when you want to get that made by like a manufacturer? Like I'm thinking of this idea where it's like a, a, a masturbation device, I bet but it's we, real, we make man. it furry. Google it, George. Don't come Google on. What? Uh, the grussy. <laughs> You're just gonna get loads of ads now for like those flashlight thingies. <laughs> oh, grussy. Oh, it's an urban dictionary. A word slam of grumpy and pissy. Oh. No, I don't think it's that. It's, it's Grinch, and then the slang word for ladies' parts. I know. <laughs> I know that. Well, I thought you. I thought you could buy it. I thought it were actually a fle flashlight. Grinch. We've given this too much time. Flashlight. <laughs> this is the part where I've become officially broken, I think. Oh, God. I don't think it's a real thing. Nah. Oh, I could have bought Adam one. Can't be. 
What would I have done with it? Anyway, what uh, <laughs> thumbed like, thumbed your limp cock into it, <laughs> folded it like origami, just like stuffed it in. Do you know the other day? Like, you know, my mum goes to my house to like uh, babysit my um, sister's son sometimes, my nephew. To um, your house? No, to my to Jen's house. Okay. Um, and Jen sometimes, for whatever reason, has a podcast on. So my mum has heard loads of stuff now, and like I can't look at the same now. So almost like she hugs me with like, with with kind of apprehension because she heard me say some really weird shit. Yeah, you've said some bad stuff on this podcast. Not as bad as you. So what? You I think I'm down. well behaved. You're not. What's the, what are we talking about next? Apart from like films, Christmas. Toys. Have you watched any Christmas films? Uh, I haven't. Really, I've not really had time. Man. Know, yeah. uh, I've watched a few. I watched the. Oh, this is a really terrible one on Netflix with the guy Jason Biggs that was in uh, American Pie. Oh yeah. It's so, like a new one on Netflix. Heather Graham's in it as well. Yeah. Which and one's Jason Biggs is he the Jim. main? He Jim. plays Jim, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he dances like me. You're not know, seeing where he's, where he's dancing with the chair because well, he's trying yeah. to impress Nadia. That's how I dance when I, you know, I've had a few beers. But um, oh, it's, I forget what the name of it now, but it's so bad. And it, it, I don't even mean just like, you expect that the story's bad and cheesy. Yeah. You kind of, you, that's the point of a Christmas film, right? But like the actual technical part, of, like, there's a part where it like focuses on a, on a picture and like that, you, the, the cameraman moves the ISO up two stops. No. Mid frame. Seriously, I'll it show it. It'll be shooting raw. Got- nice. Nah, it's, well, it's, it's, it, trust me, man. Like it's, it's shot like a TV movie. So it's not, I bet they shot it on worse cameras than we shot the music video. Right. Dead, dead okay, serious. Yeah. Maybe, it's called yeah. Best Christmas Ever. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, mate. But if yeah. it just put like Christmas film Heather Graham, Jason yeah. Biggs. But and there's another part, right? Continuity area, right? They're putting like a tree in the boot, right? <laughs> yeah. And there's this guy who's like helping put the tree in the boot, and he's wearing like a camel coat and like shades. And then it go it goes from a wide shot to shooting inside the car through the boot, and he's not wearing shades. <laughs> and it goes back out, and he's wearing like the shades are now like in his pocket. It's like I, I was like got past, you know, I was like got on Netflix. That's but, bad, isn't it? But plus it's also a mega shit film. I did watch, um, you ever seen, uh, is it Almost Christmas? The one with like Danny Glover and JB Smoove and, and stuff like that. I don't know who those people It's are. like an all black cast. It's like a really, right, okay. it's, it's a really good, it's one, only one that's like in my rotation of the newer films. Yeah. It's quite sad. It's about uh, Danny Glover plays like a widower whose wife has died. Yeah. And he's trying to figure out, like trying to, she used to make this pumpkin pie, right? And they're trying to figure out the recipe, which sounds like a shit story right but um they, like f- they figure it out in the end it's about like the family coming together and uh the, 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 some of them hate each other and you know classic christmas movie stuff but i've not watched any of the greats yet like i've not watched jingle all the way I Bad Santa. last night did you yeah jamie come on it's <laughs> double time classic i, I watched that like t- that's got to be the week of christmas that i watched that it yeah. is, that, it that is a hard. shocking film but it is good yeah, that's the point it's so shit it's <laughs> shockingly good, good. <laughs> it makes no sense does it? it makes no. you wonder how the fuck they got that past like what other ones have you, have you watched, George? Have you just been out chasing some grussy? <laughs> I watched Jack Frost. Have you seen that one? Oh, yeah. that's too sad. I can't watch that. His dad uh, dies, right? If I watch that, I'm going to cry. It's horrible. It's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But like his dad dies, comes back as a fucking snowman. Yeah, I know. And, and then, then dies melt. again when he yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. I saw some at like every Christmas film is always about a dad who isn't around his kid enough. Uh, They're yeah, always yeah. working yeah, too true. much. Yeah. Stuff. Like every Christmas film. You I can relate to that. that. <laughs> That oh yeah, <laughs> that all their rom coms. Have you seen that one with Amelia Clark? That's not bad. You know from Game uh, of Thrones, played the Targaryen. Yeah, he's like, I haven't uh, seen it's it. Last Christmas, <laughs> seen it seventeen times. Got it on DVD. <clears throat> I haven't seen it. <laughs> Got it on you know? DVD. That, that's all right. That's that's good. The, <laughs> the, 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 the twist is pretty predictable, but that's, <clears throat> there are loads of like quite good ones. I think that are kind of um, n- newer. <laughs> I, saw, I should have put it in his production chat because it was really funny. This guy, who, you know. Uh, what's the Christmas film where they're all in love with each other and stuff? Love Actually. Love Actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's like, oh, so cute. The boss wants to sleep with his intern. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy wants to sleep with his best mate's new wife that he's never spoken to in his life. <laughs> and she's like 18. Oh. <laughs> I actually like Love Actually because it gives you like a less... Um, traditional notion of what love is i think at the risk of sounding deep you know what i mean like it's about these people they're not it's not just like boy meets girl happy ever after yeah. it's about them like it's like alan rickman's character for example like he realizes that he's fucking up because he's tempted by this young yeah woman and the best part of that is the mr bean oh well it's the ron atkinson where he's, he's putting the perfume in it he's doing this really fancy <laughs> yeah. packaging um and but his wife's there right so yeah. and then she realizes he, he doesn't give her the gift but I think it's, that's a more realistic kind of take on what, <coughs> but, but maybe that's not sp- what Christmas is supposed to be about. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? But I, I sh- think it's a good film. I just remember there's like porno scene in it. I remember that. Martin Freeman. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. Cause it's like a, it's like a Pulp Fiction <laughs> with, thing. Isn't it, with something? her from Gavin and Stacey getting yeah. boobs out. Yeah. 
Marty McCutcheon's in that as well, right? What happened to her? Who? Is she still acting? Who's that? The one that she plays the... The one that ends up going... Uh, uh, she gets together with Hugh Grant, the Prime Minister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, who knows? Because she was in EastEnders, and then she did like that, which is that's a pretty big deal, and I've not really seen her in anything else. I reckon that was a pretty budget film as well, that. And it just did really well. <laughs> well, given what I now know about production budgets, I don't think it was... It's probably still about 10 million quid, if not more. <laughs> yeah. I feel it in my fingers. <laughs> Bill Nye. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love That's what he says. That was me recording the Christmas song. He turns and he just goes, this is shit, isn't it? And he's like, yeah, but you know, it's Christmas. <laughs> I might watch that tonight. We'll see. Yeah, it's the, the, is that. What's the part with the cards about the women? I don't want to sound... I don't want to say women love that because like everyone loves... But like women really love that part where, you know, the guy's doing uh, the card scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? They've recreated that. Yeah, that's like so much. with Boris Johnson. He did it in fucking Christmas lockdown. Remember? Did he? I'm sure they're like an advert. Oh god! It's like yeah. it's this COVID this year. Stay at home. Your loved ones will appreciate it. I don't get why he does that in the film. Though. <laughs> then everybody memed it and were like, "I'm a cunt." <laughs> <laughs> he had that coming. Then. Yeah. Why does he do that in the film though? I don't like know. He, does, he has nothing to gain by doing that. Maybe because like, upstairs. Yeah, but the husband could come out and see him. Yeah. A. Yeah. B. He knows that his feelings aren't reciprocated. So why does he do it? He just throws just, himself on the altar of sacrifice. He's just get off his chest, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, but why don't we do like five minutes on love, actually? I don't know. Uh, you you got into that. You, you Sorry, went deep. What's, Sorry, just, what else is on the agenda then? Come on. Uh, so, um, news just in. Paddy the Baddy's been confirmed for the podcast. The Happy Hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what fucking podcast? <laughs> <laughs> George, why are you doing us like that, man? You yeah, little like, fucking limp. I hope Tony Ferguson knocks his teeth through the back of his fucking skull. <laughs> Clip that, George. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Paddy's a big fan, but like, oh, by the by the time this is out, we'll know the results will have been. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put like lots of money on uh, not lots. Of, I say lots of money. I've got no money fucking left. I might put like fifty quid, so I care. On Tony oh, but like, wait, it's on. Like, is it on like mega late? It'll be on yeah, early hours at morning. So what time are you talking? Probably like three bells, four bells. Oh, no, I'm going to be asleep at that point. I'm yeah. not going to play any money on them from not watching it. <laughs> Could tape it, I suppose. People, <laughs> tape. Still, tape stuff. <laughs> People still do that. Um, yeah, no, it's I, a, but it's a, not a good fight for... For Paddy, that really in the grand scheme of things, I we're going to talk about because it's already like people okay. listening to this going, it's fucking happened. When is the fight? This Saturday. Oh right, yeah. So, oh, or if you're listening last Saturday, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he went on the Happy Hour podcast. Has he been on it already? I th- yeah, they've recorded. It. I don't know if it's oh, out right. by the time this is out. That'll be out. But we just, I, I think we're not part of the mainstream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I read what you said about it in the chat? I don't think so. You don't. In case we ever have him on. <laughs> so we'll just keep that between us. Okay. It was pretty funny though, wasn't it? It was funny. It was pretty accurate. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's coming on, mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't. But I might. I swear, in fact, I'm not even doing octagon stuff. I might. I won't cross paths with him again. Ah. Yeah. You nah. never know. Dude, we'll, we'll leave that one for later. It'll still stand. <laughs> I could probably have paid him. You know, I'm thinking about it now. Instead of <laughs> instead of doing that music video for Christmas, he'd have probably I could have probably paid him the amount we spent on that, and he probably would have done it for that. It wouldn't have been worth it. No, I, I agree. I would never have paid him. No, but yeah. I'm saying in theory, I could have paid. You him. You could have paid him. But we've got a pretty big guest coming on to the next podcast you listen to, provided nothing bad happens. Touch touch wood. We've got a very big guest coming. Are we going to say what it is and let people? No, no, we can't. It, it might, not, it might not. George, like, pull off. When you get to our age, my age, you learn to not like tempt the fate by saying yeah. stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that was all booked though. It, it's it, it is, yeah, but you yeah, never know. Yeah. Like, the dude could get hit by a bus tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, you never know. <laughs> you never, yeah. But, but, but that's 50, narrowed it down because that means you know it's a guy now. Yeah. 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 So that's really narrowed it down for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's, uh, come on, what else we got, George? So we were thinking <clears throat> uh, of a new segment. Uh, the podcast. Tell the story. Tell the story of how we came up with a segment. So, obviously, we had the debate about um, pubes yeah. on the <laughs> few podcasts I don't like where ago. This is going. Um, so, I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe every week bring a new debate into the room and see <laughs> what people are thinking. And I asked Josh, um, "Oh, we need a name for this podcast. Like, what? What could the we section. say that it's like funny?" Oh, the seg- the name immediately, for the seg- no hesitation whatsoever. <laughs> masturbate. We're going to call, <laughs> so, welcome to the new section called the Masturbate. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that jingle turns out like. <laughs> Can we put the grussy on it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for this. Uh, I think it's good. You know. what, have, we, have we got one today? So then? I posed some to Adam, some uh, debating topics. Oh, I was, oh, did you? So these are from Adam. 
Oh, oh right, yeah. I, these were just jokes. Are these actually going to be the ones? Oh, right, okay. points. These were perfect. So, first one. Do you wipe your ass back to front or front to back? Pardon me. <laughs> Why do you not know the answer? Front to, to back. So, so that's from a, your balls backwards. Well, I don't quite go around to the balls. Yeah, cause around that area. Yeah. So gooch. you stand up and do it. It's like a, it's almost like a partial squat. <laughs> What, what do you do? You're used to those, aren't you? KSI. Um, <laughs> what I do is um, I've got a little bit of a mixed method in that, like, I begin by doing back to front purely because, no, so I'd bend over <laughs> and do back to front in, like, a scrunch uh, manner because uh, to ensure that, obviously, I don't wipe it forward to the balls, but, like, I attack it from, like, both angles, and if there's any kind of cling-ons, that means you, you, you remove them sufficiently, <laughs> right? <laughs> that though then goes in the toilet. Then I stand up in, like, you say, like, a partial squat position and then wipe. Uh, front to back. <laughs> Fucking <it> hell. <laughs> and just cut, just cut the rest of it where he goes, I, I, my front, what's with it? Like front, <laughs> where he goes back to front, back of his balls are just, <laughs> no, just <laughs> caked in years. All them pubes on him as yeah. well. <laughs> his gooch is just, oh. <laughs> it's like, anyway, what's the next one? That. No, George, I answered. Oh yeah, George. Same <clears> as you, Josh, same as you. New dads as well out there that uh, end up having a, a, a female child. You learned that the method is, Front to back, always. Oh, well, that would obviously that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Put in the comments what uh, what way you wipe your ass. <laughs> yeah, share on Facebook and Instagram how you share your ass. A shave, share how you wipe your ass. And <laughs> tag your the ass. Breaking Beard podcast. That's, an, that's another debate. Does anyone shave their ass? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, I would, well, so you shave your balls, but not your arsehole? So you shave your arsehole? No, but like, you if you're going to talk about shaving, uh, like you got to go for the whole thing. Haven't you? How much hair is on your asshole? I don't, I don't I've look never at it, man. I, I haven't looked in a mirror. mirror. Bend over. Have a look. What's the next one, George? <laughs> Do you shave your genuine asshole? Genuine debate. No. no. What about your gooch? No, we've established that I don't shave anything Do you on shave my your body. Gooch? Uh, what does that class as? From your balls to your asshole. The perineum. No, not really. So you've just got like one, so you've got like completely but hairless. Like, it it kind of like stops there anyway, so. All right, well, whatever, man. This is like, this is in-depth It's stuff. interesting, isn't it? it is I interesting. thought you were talking about the Christmas special, man. I thought we were going to be doing some Christmas this games, Merry a little Christmas. bit of uh, trivia. I don't, forget, I don't know. Uh, what? Do you shave your barbels? Come on. <laughs> What's next? Okay, the next one that came from Adam was, at what point in a relationship do you start shitting with the door open? Look, man, I didn't know these were going to be on the... These were just <laughs> like, I, the, I'm the ideas them. guy, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm the ideas guy? I don't, I don't know if there's a right answer to that, man. These are the only two I've got, so... <laughs> so if you moved in... Make this debate last. <laughs> if you moved in together, I reckon half a year. Six months. Yeah, before that, you got to be making the effort to like at yeah. least look like you're not a pig. After that, why would you shit with the door open anyway? I n- never just, did. Just if you couldn't be bothered to close it, or you forgot to close it, were you going to get up mid poo? <laughs> oh, I better close. But the would door. you not close it behind you? Well, yeah, but like sometimes you just don't bother, do you? Or you forget, or you know, like if I'm at home alone, then yeah, I probably forget. But so is there no right? There's not. So the answer to this, the right answer is you don't poo with the door open. I think that probably oh, yeah. is the right answer. All right, well, I'm sorry I said it now. Oh, well, that, that's off Step with... Rivers, is it? Is that off Step Rivers? Like, we're men, we like to ship with the door open. I'm pretty sure that's a quote off there. So, but six months, I think that's a bit early. Yeah? Yeah, I think you've... So how long's the mystique got I to go I think you're still, you're still in honeymoon period at that point. All right, maybe not shitting. How six long months? does it take you living with somebody before, like, you pee with the door open? Oh, oh I would never not pee away. here with the door open. Yeah, it is. You pee here with the door open. Yeah, I'd put it in that communal toilet out there. I can't bother locking it, so I just <laughs> pee with it open. Like, what they're gonna? I'm pretty sure I've seen the back of a man peeing before. Yeah, <laughs> just Unless like it's a pissing, woman, it's just like pissing at a urinal, isn't it? I've got another one there uh, for the master bit. So picture a urinal in a club or a bar or something. Uh, I know we're going. And yeah. there's a person stood. Yep. On, so say there's, <laughs> I'm gonna debate five. Yeah. Five urinals. Yeah. So. The furthest away on each side yeah. are free. Yeah. But the next ones in are both taken. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's the middle one free. Yeah. What are you doing? And all the um, cubicles are taken up. Um, I'm a fully grown adult, <laughs> so I'm peeing in any of the urinals. I feel like it, de- it depends how desperate you are. What? What do you mean? I think. What's you just wait? Because you pull up and if you're like, like right next to them, you're like, sometimes you can't pee then. You absolute fucking nipple. Are you being serious? Have you got yeah, like two yeah. dicks or something? You scared That's of... not uncommon, you know. Have you got a micro penis? No. Why would you? Why, I, I, it's just more pe- like you the know feeling of needing to pee just he's weird, ra- just goes. He's right in that people don't do that. Off. Like I've seen people go in and not go to the 
and they wait. I could piss here with in, you guys. In fact, right Friday now. night, somebody was wait. I said to a guy, "Are you waiting for the the urinal?" Because was there were two, it, how old was it, man? The one that were, there were three, and the middle one was empty. And like he was looking, he wasn't. He didn't look like he was waiting for the, the cubicles. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you, he's like, nah, I can have it, mate. And I'm like, so is he just like signing? It was on his phone as well. I'm thinking, was he taking pictures of people? <laughs> but like, why would you? I don't understand why you, you're there to pee, man. You, it'd be a bit weird if somebody looks at you halfway through, maybe. Yeah. Or has like a little I, chat. I would have him. no dramas, mate. That would only happen like towards the start of the night. Once you've got alcohol in you, like it does not matter. Yeah. You didn't have you down as a shy lad, George. I didn't know. <laughs> You didn't have me down as a shy when we, were, when we went on, on exercise with Royal Marines, they'd put like, um, they're almost like, I don't know, what would you call them? Uh, like a basket, they're like baskets with toilet lids on. And you had to basically shit back to back in like little tents. Yeah, so you're used to. And it just imagine how bad that smell. Worse. They're not like men and women, just one tent, have at it. So. Men and women, one tent, have at it. You shit on floor, 50 euro. <laughs> yeah, we done for that. The master That's bit. master bit. Oh, Come on, we must, yeah. we must be able to think of something else. I think three is probably enough, mate. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, how much mileage can you get out of that? How often do you masturbate? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's next? Not every tell week me, on this podcast. Tell, tell me there's something good, like, coming up, please. Can I have a wee? Can I have a wee, please? <laughs> yeah, come on, then. It, it bought us a, a gigantic Just coffee. make sure you shut the door. I, I, I might just piss in this my protein pot. Go on, then. If you can piss in front of us, do it. <laughs> Don't do Prove it. it. Welcome back. I just went for a wee and didn't lock the door. Good man. I was well fine. Done. Well done, Josh. So I thought for a little segment this week, we could, uh, everybody's been doing the Spotify rap. So I think it'd be interesting <laughs> to see what you guys both listen to. Don't you, when people share that though, oh, it's yeah. like, what, why the fuck are you telling me, man? Yeah, like, nobody, yeah. nobody cares. We can br briefly brush over this. How many minutes of music have you listened to? Not that many, actually. It's like top trump. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, mine's 3,790. Oof. That's fucking rookie numbers, How isn't it? How many is yours? What's yours? 17,100. I've got 27,000. Fucking hell. Yeah, but that comes through, that counts in the office as well, right? Does it? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think that Spotify is connected to my Spotify. I think this Every is just like- Every time I play something on Spotify through that, it disconnects like immediately. Uh, right. Well, anyway, <coughs> I. but you know me, like- Who's I'm, your top artist? Come on. So let's go five, five to one. So we won't do songs though because it'll five. get fucking exhausting. I think that. Yeah, okay. Right, top artist. We'll get five no, we got to do a, we got to do a song. You don't have to do five of each. It's not gonna take you that long. <clears throat> yeah, it's not gonna take long. Yeah. Right. So five uh, my, of my top artists, bizarrely, is Mayday Parade. I don't think I'd listen to <laughs> them that much. Just, yeah, emo band, fucking class band. Uh, I'll have not a single bad word said about about Mayday Parade. What songs have they done? Um, What's their like big song? A big song, J one called Jamie All Over is probably the most- uh, I don't think I've heard that actually. Please don't tell me that I'm dreaming. That's well, I that song, all it? I yeah. ever wanted yeah, yeah. was to. That was pretty good, that. I used to- That's man, in I used the to... office all the time, is like- Yeah, isn't it? It's yeah. like, it's like, yeah. All right, Josh, what's your number five? See, I don't know who this is. Morgan Wallen. So, <laughs> I was like, that's five a country on it. guy. It's it? a country guy, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what song he sings. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is just like typical. Like, he listens to music. Don't know. Who to be it is. fair, though, like all I don't want to say all country music sounds the same. But it you can be forgiven for yeah. like not necessarily yeah. knowing the artist. <laughs> People get embarrassed about admitting they like country music, but I think it's kind of. I quite like it. Sometimes I put the radio on. You like if I'm out in Texas or whatever, just driving. It's just dead easy. Listening to it. Like some of and, it's all right. It's and all after it's... I spent a, like a week with you, I'm just like I need to fucking chill out. <laughs> what do they call it? Three calls and the truth. It's yeah, always three about like the truth. if women are singing, singing about like an alcoholic husband who like left them or something like that, and if it's men, they're usually singing about beards, Jesus, Jesus or beard, yeah, beard, beards, <laughs> beards. <laughs> beards as well, maybe. Um, number four, I've got something you're not gonna actually know. Got sorry, what, what's George number five? Oh yeah, my number five is Adam's favorite, Harry Styles. Is it? That's embarrassing. I think that's more embarrassing than country yeah, music. I'm not embarrassed by that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be. Uh, number four, well, I've got- Well, let's that. see what your number one is first. I bet, it's number, I bet it's 1975. It's not 1975. You're are big, they on there? You've got no, number four. They've got to be on there. They are on there, but they're not number one. <laughs> that's worse. Number Shut four. the fuck up. <laughs> Breaking Num beard. Number four is uh, a band called The Front Bottoms. You probably won't know them, George, because they're kind of underground. They make good songs. <laughs> the Front Bottoms. Yeah, it's a bad name for a band, <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure I've heard that name for a band before, though. But I don't think I've heard that. Yeah, they make, it's like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, to me, it's like garage rock or like garage emo rock. It's, it's just two guys. Garage. Yeah, garage, yeah. What the fuck is that? That's oh, a motorbike. Rum, rum. It is a motorbike. Sorry, mate. Yeah, no, sorry. That's all I was going to say. George, what's yours? That oh, should be me, shouldn't it? 
Yeah, you go. Mine is uh, Luke Combs. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we need a new office, man. <laughs> Because I should have spent the budget for the music video on a new fucking studio. <laughs> Luke Combs. I know who Luke Combs is. Who is he? What's he's, he a guy. he's a country guy. Yeah, what, he's pretty big. Like, give he, me one of his songs. Uh, well, he's just done a Tracy Chapman cover of Fast Car. Um, it's uncoverable, that song. Sorry. No, he did a pretty good job, actually. Sure, he did, but you, I think you just can't cover that song. I don't know. I, it's been overcovered. Probably, yeah, but I mean, like, you can't beat the original, can you? <laughs> yes, you can. What's your number four? Number four for me is Biffy Clyro. No, not bad. Oh, I if I that. don't know where we belong. I never really liked them back in the day, but like. I listened to them for f- 10 years. Okay. Good. They, I like that. Was it the first album with Saturday Super House on it? And then everything after that I thought was wank. But like. That wasn't the first album. but Second. It was second or third, I think. Yeah. Something like that. I liked his look. Long hair, beard. Yeah. It's a cool dude. Yeah. What's he called again? Biffy. Simon. <laughs> <something>. <laughs> I used to. Where, where, I wonder where they got the name from. Biffy. I used to think he must be called Biffy, right? Because otherwise, well, but no. Must be an anagram or something. You reckon? <laughs> what the fuck could Biffy be an anagram of? Somebody put a comment like that on, on his YouTube channel the other day. Anagram. You just reminded me. Carry on. What's your number four, George? I just told you. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, lad. I can't believe people listen to this. What did I say? I said like every other podcast is crap. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't say everyone was crap, but I mean, like, we're not better. Uh, I might, is it my, my turn for number three? Oh, did you know that Newark is an anagram of wanker? That was a comment from oh, Fat Weezy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also another one from Hillsy11. The willingness of every member to whip out their member is amazing. <laughs> this, we, we should just do a fucking episode of both comments, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> right, what were your number three? My number three is, uh, admittedly, <clears throat> the 1975, much to George's chagrin. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, like, I don't know why you don't like 1975, because they write their own music, unlike Harry Styles, but, you know, whatever. His music's still better. Uh, mine's a guy Shut called... fuck up, man! George. Come over there and fucking feed this to you, boy! Come do it, mate. Jordan Davis. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, sounds like somebody I went to school with, yeah? Jordan, Jordan Davis. Davis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just it's like country music, just like nondescript country artists. I'm sure I, it's I, just, I, I literally just, whatever, I pick an artist, and then just press radio, and I just, I'll listen to just fucking oh, different... I can't do that, so man. you just get country radio. Yeah, it's basically just I country. can't do, like, the shuffle thing either. Like, I've got to listen to albums, man. Like, Machine Gun Kelly Radio album. is a good one. Uh, what's your number three, George? My number three is Muse. Ooh. Your time is running out. That wasn't bad. Come on, that was a good Matt Bellamy. Not far off. Yeah. George yeah. just wants to find me today. Can you feel it? Yeah. I feel like he wants to do me in. I'm happy enough. <laughs> like, I can, I, I'm, I'm a bit... Yeah. Yeah. shifting now. Like, like I said, this is what you need. Moving. It always shifts. Yeah. Isn't that weird? What's... Right, is anyone... Who's next? <laughs> Lost you. track. Number two. My number two. Yeah. This is kind of a weird one because it wouldn't normally have been there, but, you know, because the song that I did, the Christmas song, I was listening to this song, the song that's based on a lot. Oh, yeah. To get like an idea for it. So it's uh, a band called My Awesome Compilation, which are very, a very little known band. I had the album when I was in, uh, in, in, in uni, like a British pop punk band back in the day. But uh, equally, I listened to that album a lot as soon as I discovered it. So that's how the idea for the song came about. But um, yeah, they're number two. Mine's just another country fella. So <laughs> if I told you, they could fucking. It's good. John oh Smith. God. Leanne Rhymes. What's his name? Uh, Warren Ziders. How, how is Leanne? You listen to all this country. How is Leanne Rhymes not in there? Who's she? Leanne Rhymes. Okay. Um, I know which song you mean. There's the, one song in there. What's the big one? Yeah. Uh, it's one off Coyote Ugly. No. no. I was thinking, what's the, the one that, where they made her look older? What's her name? Leanne Rhymes, man. Oh, man, what's the song? Uh... Okay, I'll get, I'll get on How do I live without you? I want to know. How do I live? Yeah, that would be probably the title of it, yeah. Can't Fight the Moonlight. I don't remember that one. You don't remember this? This, I mean, this was Coyote Ugly, wasn't it? I do remember it's actually, yeah. Keep it brief. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get us demonetized. <laughs> we already make no money. Okay, I'll save that for later. Let's take like car. That could be your next cover, George. <clears throat> You're always looking yeah, for like, sure. I mean, you can't really make that funky, but I mean. I bet you could. If anyone can, <laughs> George can. Uh, is that everyone? Number two, from George. Uh, number two from me is Black Bear, who actually oh, did yeah. a song with Machine Gun Kelly. He did do a, I think, I, I think he, probably I think he was a support act at uh, Leeds and all, you know. <laughs> that, one you, that, yeah? that one that you were trying to get me to go to. In fact, it were him, because he came on stage and he's like, I've got a cold, I'm drinking tea. And then just like sang his fucking songs and I'm like, you gimp. 
honestly. <laughs> cool, cool story, bro. Anyway, uh, my number one is a fucking ace band, my new favorite band called Hot Mulligan. Actually, I think I was wearing a Hot Mulligan hoodie last episode of the one before. Like a fifth wave emo <coughs> band. Uh, played in Leeds, actually, and I, I, it was sold out. I couldn't get tickets, and I was away anyway. But, uh, <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they're, they're a, a, fucking they're, tell us it again, will you? They're a good, but should, go fucking listen to Machine Gun Kelly, you big twerk. <laughs> What's their big song, then? They don't have one. They don't Honestly, have one. they don't have one, no. I, I mean, uh, maybe there's one called Shush, <laughs> Shush Golf is on, which is probably reasonably well known. Equip Sunglasses is the most streamed. Equip Sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, get out. Go on then, Josh. Surprises. What's yours? <laughs> Drum roll. Machine Gun Kelly? Hey. hey. That was like perfectly your time. Fucking Machine Gun Kelly. What's your number one? My number one is a band called Nothing But Thieves, who probably both of you will have heard of. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never heard of them, mate. I don't really listen to new music. Great band. Yeah? Are they great in the sense that band. you say Harry Styles is great? Are they great in the real oh, sense? Far better, than, far better than him. Oh, I might give them a listen. They've got, I think, four albums, and they're all like just class start to finish yeah i've got a, i think while we're on it can i play like what we don't have to go through a top five songs right because they're basically um an amalgamation an, an, <laughs> the, 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 yeah they, they correlate with the top artists apart from song number five which for some reason i listened to loads when i was in uh <laughs> i listened to loads when i was in, do you remember when to, uh tori mike god rest his soul r.i.p um when he was talking about being a one pump chump. Yeah. Do you remember do. that, right? <laughs> and um, it made me think of this song by a band called uh, Here Come the Mummies. Have you ever heard it? No. Called Pants. Can I play a bit before yeah, you? Go on. Um, I'll just kind of skip it ahead. I have to bleep it out, but yeah. <laughs> but it's like, a, it's, <laughs> but it's like it, if you actually listen to the song, it's done with a little bit more class because it's like a double entendre, right? So he's talking about when he says going to blow a wad on you, what he means is he's saved up money to yeah, take this yeah. guy on a date all week. Yeah. And then when he says, I'm coming in my pants, as in like he's going to be wearing his nicest pants because yeah. he then says, in my best suit, baby, going to pick your flower, going to be there in an hour. It's, you would like that, George. It's quite, quite a funky tune. But uh, yeah, that was number five. And I was just listening to that relentlessly. I think when I was in like Maine or something, I think it was, <laughs> after we discovered that Mike is uh, indeed a one pump chump. <laughs> Well, that's Spotify wrapped, which leaves room for one don't say, thing. Don't say festival. Come on. Actually, two things. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas festival. There is some Christmas related festivals. Should we do them first and then... Uh, it's a Patreon section. We'll do the... Uh, There's the no Patreon section this weekend. Yeah. Oh, well, you can have the surf drumming early. This is the week where Josh eats the surf drumming. I was prepped, I was prepped last week, man. I'd like, I was ready for it. I'd eaten a bit of breakfast. This I'm, today is a bad day. I'm like empty stomach. You're mental. You, he was gonna do it before the podcast. He's like, let's get it out of the way. I'm like, there's no way you're podcasting after that. You're gonna be written off. We mate. need to go for lunch after this. I've yeah, got well, the surf drumming's got to happen. These people don't. I mean, you, especially when you. I bought you, some crackers. The crackers ain't helping you, man. <laughs> Trust me. I brought us some crackers. And you know what? I was actually when, the last time I was kind of in the mood to maybe try a bit, but today I'm just not. So uh, you're on your own, mate. So you've got to eat it. It's going to be like a fucking Snapchat. Like it'll get about, if I get it in my mouth, it ain't going to be there for you, long, you is you got to like plug your nose and put it in your mouth and then yeah. start eating it. And then at least then if you throw it, it's been in your mouth. <coughs> right, don't, okay. don't, you can't be going like, oh, I can't. you got to have it in, in for at least a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, will, I will absolutely do my best. Like I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to cop out. Um, but yeah, you, I, you can't I've got like horrendously sensitive lick nose. It and then that's it. You, you're going to have to plug your nose in, mate, because the smell is going to do you in. Just like, all right. It's going to be like a fresh dog food. Cool. <laughs> but it is edible. I just need to just tell yourself that, you know, you've been in the Navy. Improvise, adapt to overcome. Yeah. Right. Well, let's do some festivals and then uh, we'll get to Fox, yeah. Joshy Knoxville. Take in on the first drum in challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first festival <clears throat> is my creative director was a complete prick. He refused to pay Christmas bonuses to the company after a successful year. After noticing he'd bought a new Jaguar, I super glued a dildo to the bonnet. Juvenile, I know. Yeah, I mean, I quite like that, but I mean, like, are they... We should do that to um, Tesla. Unless, uh, <laughs> feel free, mate. Just for fun. Um, what was I going to say then? I was going to say something. I totally forgot. A bonus is written into the contract, though. I if Christmas know. bone eye are not written into the contracts, <laughs> bone eye. then... Uh, but yeah, it probably shouldn't be like a Jaguar as well. Do we get that bonus for the uh, for making it, for being part of the most viewed video? Tell on you channel? what, tell you what, mate. I will give you and the director 
Because you did fuck all, basically, let's be honest. The, the producer, you're like the Harvey Weinstein in this scenario, and uh, <laughs> without the sexual assault. And uh, the director, I'll give you each 500 quid bonus if the music video in and of itself does over a million views. What do you say to that? Is that, is that fair? Guess I know it won't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, can, we have, can I have it in cash? Cash? I don't want the tax man to find out. So I no, I'm, a law, I'm a law by the degree, isn't it? <laughs> it's got to be cash, hasn't it? I, yeah. I've got to be better to put it on my books. What do you think? I'm giving you 500 quid out of my, like, my hard-earned personal money. Uh, yeah. Clown. <laughs> <laughs> 500 quid on the line here. Me and uh, Joshy blew it. Let's go. And uh, second festival, my wife took the kids out and I was hungry. <laughs> so I ate one of their advent calendars. I ripped it up a bit and put it on the floor and blamed the cats. <laughs> that's pretty clever. <laughs> Only you can really say if that's real. I feel like that's something a dad might do in yeah, situations yeah, of stress. Really, that's fair, that, yeah. That reminds me of that scene from Bad Santa, you know, where like he, Bad Santa scoffs his, uh, <laughs> the poor Thurman Merman's advent calendar. Yeah. That's a great film. I the sequel was DOS, though, man. Like, why did they make a sequel to that? I don't Sorry. think I've seen a sequel to that. You yeah, just reminded just me, though, like, it, being a parent, you know, we're on about, like, shitting with the door open. So like kids, they must, I reckon my kid could eat the surf room because she'll walk in when I'm having a shit and not flinch. <laughs> she's like, you know, your kid, when you're, you're on the phone to me sometimes, <laughs> your kid kind of scares me a bit. Why? Because like, what, how old is she? Two and a half. Like she's too articulate, like she's possessed or something. Like there's something, I don't want to say. very strange. I don't want to say there's something wrong with her, but it's like age. speaking to like a nine-year-old and a two-year-old's <laughs> yeah. body. So I'm just like, that's a good thing. Don't get you probably yeah. in Mensa and like she's probably going to do much bigger and better things than we have done with our lives. But like, it is disarming. <laughs> what did she say on the phone the other day? She just piped up when we were talking. I can't remember what she said. She said it were a full sentence, wasn't it? Yeah, every time, but every time. Was, did she like, say about like the way I looked at me? She said, he's not, he's not got some. There was one time when she said, oh, I, I, maybe it probably wasn't that time, but I think when we were in the car or something, she said like Adam's not wearing a hat or something. Something, yeah, yeah. She's like, what's going on? Adam's not wearing a hat. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, kind of have a two-year-old. It's like that movie, the like, Megan. You know where they get that doll, that animatronic evil doll. That's what it's like. <laughs> Every time Josh FaceTimed uh, home in the office, and she's like, where's George? Yeah, she yeah. goes, oh, he's here and showing, showing her to me and stuff. And she's like, oh, hi, George. <laughs> I just picked a massive bogey. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, great. Solid sentence that though. Yeah. Doing yeah. well, doing well. <laughs> Should our kids, it's fun. <laughs> For that 30 seconds. What was the, uh, you didn't tell uh, on the podcast the last sort of father and fail you had and you yeah. put into the chat, you put don't have kids. Yeah, we've not had one of those for a while. You didn't, you'd never mentioned it on the podcast, I don't think. In oh, bed, I think in it might bed. have been the other night. Dropped one ahead again. When no, she, she did something in, in bed, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, so like we woke up at, it was one o'clock in the morning and she's one like hanging off the morning. side of her bed. So she's not in a cot anymore, she's like in a bed. I'm like, what is she doing? And it looked like she was crying. She was crying. She's fucking thrown up everywhere. So they were sick, like it was like all over the bed, all over the floor, all in her hair. And it's like, but I didn't know. So I walked in at one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, you all right, darling? Do you wanna, should I get you back into bed? So I like scooped her up, got covered in sick myself. <laughs> and then I was like, Danielle, <laughs> get the bath on. So then I, obviously we had, I had to strip the bed like, this is another parenting thing, scooping up like chunks of sick. Uh, <laughs> can't do it, man. You know, I, can't, like, I can't do it, Captain. You've got to, like, if it's your kid, you've got to. No, I mean, it. I just can't have kids. All right, yeah. Well, because but, I can't do that. Yeah, so scooping, and then bathing a kid, crying at one o'clock in the morning. Then the, then she, she's never slept in our bed. She then slept in our bed for the, for the, the rest of the night. I, that freaked me out as well, like sleeping in bed with a, a small child. I feel like I was going to suffocate. Yeah, she's a toddler now though, so it's like, it, she's fine. I know it's normal, but yeah. it's still kind of, I won't be able to sleep thinking she's going to throw up again. She, oh, well, she did. So, she, so she, we had like a a bowl. So then 10 minutes later, we turned lights off. A bowl? Not a bucket? No. I feel like a bowl you kind of limit so yourself. So she's with. spewed in that. We had to ditch that. And then we're like, go to sleep. So she slept like sideways across us. And like me and Danielle's like, edge at bed, neck's broken, back's broken. <laughs> so it's not really a father who failed as such. It was just a, a bad night. And then I had to go to work the next day. Probably filming with you or something. Just like a zombie. <laughs> this last six weeks has just been a blur. To be yeah, you're right there. Had it, had it been nuts? I feel like it's aged me like five, ten years. Yeah, I'm ready to check out for Christmas me, you know. Yeah. I'm off to Centre Parks. When this, when this goes live, I'll be in Centre Parks. Yeah, when's that next week? Yeah. 20 when? I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm going to... A, I'm, I'm not going to follow you then. <laughs> Calm like down. the 21st to the 23rd. Yeah. Apparently there's a winter wonderland. We've got our own house. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash my phone up. I'm going to go like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go airplane mode. I'm not even going to go do, do another step. Just yeah, do that. Like, I, I do that quite a lot. If somebody dies, 
whatever I find, I'll, find, I'll find out on the 24th. Just block everyone's number. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm completely checking out. <laughs> so yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, I feel like this wasn't quite as festive as <laughs> it would have been. But uh, yeah. Well, we good. should say thank, but thank you for, every, for everybody that's like, supported the podcast this year. It has been a blast. We actually do think we've sat as, as bad as it is. <laughs> we think we've got into our stride with this a little bit <laughs> recently. I'm enjoying it. It's my favourite part of the week is doing the podcast, and that's not even a joke. <laughs> I think I'm the subscribers agree that we have found our stride with it, I think. Yeah. What do we, two million views on YouTube? So we've done 2 million, uh, over 2 million views on the main channel. We've done like 2.2 million views on the Clips channel. And we haven't put all on the Clips channel for about six months. <sighs> That's unbelievable. Thank you. Very, it's very hard for me to sound sincere, but just give me a second. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, for watching and listening. It really does mean a lot to me and Josh and George probably that uh, you come back and watch, listen every week because we, we don't really know what we're doing. But it's nice to have fun and chat to people and whatnot. I'll chat amongst ourselves and have people listen. Cheers. Was that sincere enough? I think that was pretty good. No. I, 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 get, I, I'm half shocked, actually. I'm flexing my acting chops because, like... Uh, <laughs> you I can't, can't say I'm, that it's acted. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, like, he, he just ruined it. He totally. said on multiple occasions, this is the highlight of his week, That's which not a joke. blows my mind. So I'm like, you could do anything. Like, you, you, you've got invited... You, you, invi you got invited to LA with Chuck Liddell. You've been like... You get invited down yeah. to Sidemen fucking all the time. So and you'd rather you, be sat here with us. That's like something from the Sunday Times off this buy me Christmas dinner the other day. What? It's the weirdest. I thought like, am I in the 1980s? She was like a journalist. She wants to do like some kind of like piece on me. Um, and she's like, uh, oh, I'd love to interview you. And I'm thinking like a phone interview or whatever. So I'm just going to say no, because I'm, I'm like, I'm not that interesting. But she's like, oh, we'd love, I'd love to interview you over Christmas dinner. I'm like, what a weird thing to say. <laughs> so I just said, to, oh, you know, I'm flattered. Thank you. But I'll decline just because... I'm not really that interesting. There's, <laughs> only, there's only so many times you can talk about your fucking, what your morning ablutions look like, or how many burgers you can eat. But, you know, cheers, have a nice Christmas. And she was quite persistent. She's like, well, sure, I can't tempt you. There's this restaurant here. And she was, I'm like, I'm not going to drive. It was in Watford. Like, I'm going to oh drive that to Watford yeah, to like, nah. just chat to somebody. And like, I was like, cheers, you know. But I didn't also tell you real quick, uh, <laughs> in case is. you're interested. Yeah, I know it is. But like, I did that. I got asked to take over a radio show, which, is not, you know, normally like, I get asked to do loads of stuff. And I'm a bit miserable. I no, normally always decline just because whatever. But I, I got asked to take over a radio show on this Welsh radio station called Bro Radio. Right. So if you're interested, uh, that you can get that on. Like, by now, I'll probably post a link to it. But um, On you, Bro Radio? Bro Radio, yeah. Ugh, uh, no, I, no I, don't, I don't think it's like, bro. I think it's like, maybe it stands for something like... But like a Phoenix of, night, so bring back some paddy. Welcome to Bro Radio, coming I, in your ears. Charlie FM. <laughs> I remember Charlie I FM. Make, he told me about my best behaviour though as well, so he may, maybe he's listened to the podcast, the guy that yeah. I took over from, he's like, you can't swear and don't make any lewd jokes. And I told this really long rambly story about somebody trying to sell me drugs, which he actually ended up cutting out. But um, yeah, if you're interested in like music that I listen to, it's, it might be, I don't know, if you've got nothing to do. If you want a watered down version of the podcast <laughs> and some shit music. I, the music was fucking good, and I, but I actually really enjoyed it. I thought, how do you start a radio station? Is that like easy to do? I, well, no I, mean, I think you probably do it in here. No, but like where you play music and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, you just probably just record it. And... No, but like a real one that people actually want to, you know, maybe you could get a job on a radio station and establish one. I mean, Alan Partridge did it, right? How hard could it be? <laughs> you, I don't know you, how it works in terms of like you couldn't get you a... couldn't meet the schedule, man. People, I could I couldn't meet the schedule. Nah, I mean, I couldn't do a morning show. I could do a night show. I never fucking sleep. <laughs> I'd be doing it like three a.m. <laughs> Next up, it's about seven. No, I would never play that. But um, anyway, yeah, come, come on. on. Is that the end? We're prolonging this fucking. <laughs> sorry, show. Let's sorry. Let's go eat this fucking fish and ruin my Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We love you. Have a great Christmas. Happy see, and prosperous New Year. Catch you in 2024. Next Tuesday. Bye. Peace. George, gorgeous George on the behind the scenes now. This is it. He gets to see his face. Come on then. Let's go. Are we just literally eating this in a fucking alleyway in Morley? We're, we're going to have to eat it in an alleyway in Morley. I've brought um, a Coke, a fork, and some crackers. Why do you think the crackers are going to help you, man? You, you're eating stinky fish. Tuna on crackers is not nice. Not on fish, it's not tuna. I reckon I can get George on back here. Probably. Hi, mate. <laughs> you could have put it on wide, you fucking donkey. Oh. No. <laughs> Why am I fucking doing it? You should be doing it. <sighs> you got it on your finger? Where'd you just tin open a frog? B&M. Yeah, of course I <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. Have at it, son. How the fuck are we going to go into it? Oh.
got two forks. Get your hands on the canyon. Are you sure? I'm not touching it. I can't smell it, that's obviously. <laughs> I'm, I'm like breathing through. Can you tell by the way I'm talking? I'm breathing through me. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Look <laughs> at that dangly bit. Get that in your cake, old son. That's juicy, that. It's still got fins and shit on it. It's like finding Nemo. He's got his head cut off. We'll make this reasonably prompt, it's quite cold out here. You're not, you're not going to be able to cut that, you have to just take a bite. That's absolutely useless. Oh! <laughs> what are you uh, doing, man? I can't eat a full one. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the wall. Get it in there. It's good. Stop, Stop smashing it. Oh, it's good to hanging out, hold on. Get that's, that's part of it. That's a, like a lung or something. Eat the fish. <laughs> oh, I think it's fish. Fish and cold ones. <laughs> 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 oh, I can smell it now. Uh, is a cracker. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> Oof, yeah. I'll try harder in breaking beard next time. Is that what we used to call it? Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to change the name of that now. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Who's gonna?